Welcome back to another W2K23 tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to create and install your own renders for custom characters in W2K23. We've went over everything. We went over how to do SDV files, character imports, graphics, sounds, all of that. But I haven't showed you guys how to import your own custom renders because sometimes it's hard to find renders for certain characters i.e. Bray Wyatt. We just installed Bray Wyatt in the last video, so I want to show you guys how to get this picture of the fiend in 2K23 right now. You're going to need a couple of things. First things first, you're going to need to buy Adobe Photoshop. There are other free rays. I don't know them. I use Adobe Photoshop because I already have it. So if you have Photoshop, this is what you'll need. You'll have to pay the US $19.99 a month. I'm not gonna show you how to pirate Adobe Photoshop either. So if that's what you're looking for, you can leave right now. So you'll need Photoshop and you'll need this program, sorry, this plugin right here, Intel Texture Works for Photoshop. So you're gonna go ahead and get your Photoshop installed and get this plugin here downloaded. Once you get the plugin downloaded, just extract it to your desktop or wherever you want it at. Open up the folder, open this up, plugins. I have an X64, so I'm gonna open this. Now I'm gonna copy IntelTextureWorks.8bi. Copy that. Now go to your Photoshop install directory. Once you're in your Photoshop install directory, you're gonna look for the plugins folder. Open that up. And just paste it in here. I've already got it. All right, there you go. Now open up Photoshop. Now that we've got Photoshop opened up and that plugin installed, Photoshop can now read the texture files within WD2K23. So let's go to Cake Tools real quick. We're going to try to find Commander Aziz render because we want to make sure we line things up so it appears properly in the game. So we know Commander Aziz Superstar ID is 984. So let's find that render file. Let's go to Open. And I believe they're in baked file 07. UI, assets, 2K20 texture, 2K20 renders, superstars, and type A. Let's find Commander Z's render. We know he's 984, so just scroll down until you get to, I'm oh, sorry, scroll up until you get to 984. Let's see, where is he at? Right here. All right, now we're just gonna export his render. So to export just this render, you're gonna press this little box here with an arrow pointing up. I'm just gonna throw it on my desktop. File exported, to minimize that. Here it is right here. We're gonna go back to Photoshop and just drag and drop this render file into Photoshop. We're not gonna click load transparency as alpha channel. Open it up. There we go, as you can see, his background is invisible. That's what we want. Let's go back to our let's go back to our internet browser here and grab this Bray Wyatt render. You don't have to use this render. You can use whichever render you like. This is one I really like. So we're going to download this render. Now we're going to get Bray Wyatt. We're going to drag him into this file right here. Now, now what we want to do is try to line up this image of Bray Wyatt best we can with Commander Aziz. You don't want it too high, you don't want it too low. You're gonna try to line it up as good as you can. I think that's pretty good, maybe. Let's see how it matches up. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. So now we can actually delete this layer right here. Now, we're gonna to go to File, Save As. Make sure that this says Intel Texture Works and keep this name the same right here. Save, yes, we wanna replace it. Now it's gonna open up a new window for us. Once this window pops up, we're gonna to go to texture type, color plus alpha, compression, we're gonna leave that as BC3 8BPP linear. Press okay, now it should be saved. As you can see, it's right here, and it has overwritten the Commander Aziz render with the Fiend Bray Wyatt. Now we're going to our WD2K23 mod directory. Same process as usual. Open up Steam, Library, right click on 2K23, Manage Browse Local Files. 
go to mods. If you don't have these folders, be sure to create them. You're gonna go to create a UI folder, an assets folder, a 2K20 texture folder, a 2K20 renders folder, a superstars folder, and then you're gonna create two folders, type A and type B. And then you're just gonna drag and drop your Commander Aziz DDS file into both of those folders. Make sure it's in here, and it is. Awesome. Now we just go to Cake Tools, bake a folder, and bake that mods folder. Bake file index 61 and press OK. Let it do its thing, and then I'll see you guys once it's done. Directory baked successfully, press OK. Always press OK, and launch the game. We can check out this render. We're gonna play doesn't matter what the arena is we're just gonna find the fiend in here and there he is with his render congratulations you have created and installed your very first render in w2k23 now if you don't want to do this process you don't want to install this render i will have a link in the description of you where you can download this render and just drag it and drop it and install it yourself from pw mods because i get it paying 20 dollars a month for photoshop isn't for everybody and some of us aren't technically uh what's the word i'm looking for skilled maybe to do things like this there's nothing wrong with that so if that's you, that's okay. I'm gonna have a download link in the description so you can download this render and just install it the easy way. And if you remember, I showed you guys how to install Mercedes Monet. I showed you how to install Pat McAfee and Pat didn't have a render. So you can do the same process, get your render of Pat McAfee, create it and save it and install it all by yourself. I highly recommend just getting on DeviantArt, searching wrestler name renders and it should pull up a ton of renders you can just use any one of them you like probably want to get some high quality ones but i hope this tutorial helped you if it didn't reach out to me on twitter at brad martin yt leave a comment below whichever one you want to do i will try my best to get back to you as soon as possible and help you out with getting your mods going until the next video i will see you guys later thanks for watching bye